Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have to apologize for this video. Um, as I explained in my last one, I lost all the footage on my memory card when I accidentally touched it as it was like still importing. And so I lost the um, beginning of this plan with me and I'm so sorry about that, but I figure I could still at least upload half of it. And um, at least it's the end half so you can see how it comes together at the end, but I just don't have the footage from when I started to put this together. And as you can see, I already have all my cat stickies on here. I do work at a school, for those of you that don't know, and I use my planner very functionally for work. So I have all my work to do's and students I have to see and just meetings that I have to attend. Um, so I do have to block out all the names because that is confidential information. As you can see, this is what I've started with. Um, this kit is from Brandy's shop. And um, this box right here, let me turn to the first half. This box right here in the corner was just kind of a blank full box and I actually wrote this in um, and then I used some deco stickers from uh, watercolor blooms. It was like a little sampler sheet. I have my sidebar like so. At the bottom I decided to not use the washi that the kit came with because it has a lot of blues and greens and I didn't really want to um, accentuate those colors. I really wanted for the pink and the golds to show up and so I chose to put down this Scotch Expressions glitter washi and then this uh, gold foil pineapple washi. I think it's from Michaels. I actually got it as a little sampler roll so I don't know exactly where it came from. Um, so for Monday, I have that all filled out. Um, this little coffee unicorn is from Willow Wallow Co. Um, let's see, my meeting sticker is from Nightingale Paper Co. And at the bottom, this little meal icon is from the Coffee Monsters Co. So that's pretty much all I've got in terms of the fun stuff. The rest is really just work related, nothing really fun. This is all I've got. Uh, for the weekend banner, I decided to put some more deco pieces just to jazz it up a little bit. And um, let's see, this TGIF sticker is from Little Red Prince. And then I've got my coffee from The Nay Designs. Um, this balloon sticker is from Let's Make It Sparkle. And then the last thing that I used that wasn't from the kit is this gold foil birthday icon from Planning World. So, okay, that's pretty much it for the intro. And I'm going to just kind of jump right in with where I left off in the planning. The first thing I did after work was check my P.O. box because it had been a while and I got quite a few packages which was really exciting. I'll be sharing those things in an upcoming haul. And then I used a flag sticker from the kit with a edit sticker from Very Cute Designs to mark that I edited my haul video. And then um, we just watched TV at the end of the night. So I used a little things that was a leftover from I think Planning World actually. And then moving on to Wednesday, I started by putting a half box. This was a really rough day for me. Um, basically my car battery died twice so I had to get it um, jumped twice like it took forever for them to come out which is fine I understand that stuff just takes a while and then that was also the day where my memory card got wiped um, so it was just kind of like bad luck on top of bad luck and it's all good now but anyways I used a crying fox sticker from May cause memories and then I layered some washi strips together um, and used a car sticker from Hello Petite Paper. I filled in my sidebar and then I went back to the end of the night. I used a uh, Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji to mark the memory card incident. And then afterwards, I went out and got Chipotle with my friends. And so um, I used a Chipotle sticker from Plants with Vanessa to mark that. And that's like exactly what my Chipotle order looks like because I always get like a bowl. And so I love using those stickers to mark that. Moving on to Thursday, I started by using a grocery sticker from Very Cute Designs because I did groceries after work. We were like out of rice and eggs and just like a few basic things. And then underneath, I layered some washi strips together and used a Once More With Love um, munchkin sitting on the couch to mark that we watched TV again um, at the end of the night. For Friday, I put down um, a full box. I had cut that up so that it fit the remaining space on Friday. And then I used an upload sticker from Very Cute Designs to mark that I uploaded my plan with me. I think I was still trying to catch up at this point. And then I found a me time sticker in my leftover collection, um, which is kind of what I did at the end of Friday. I think I was just like super burnt out and just needed some downtime. 
Then moving on to Saturday, I used a um, boba sticker from Very Cute Designs again. I realized I used a lot of her stickers in this spread and um, that was our breakfast and boba. And then I used a quarter box with a house icon to mark that we had some visitors afterwards, which was really nice. And um, I had my bill due because it was the first of the month. So I put down a bill due sticker that was from the kit. Um, I found this grocery shopping sticker also from my leftovers collection. I'm not quite sure which shop it was from, but um, anyways, I put that down. And then I used a Coffee Monsters Co. TV emoji to mark that some of our friends came over and we just kind of had a video game night, which was really fun. Then for Sunday, I got ready in the morning, and so I used those makeup brush stickers from Planning on Point. I think those were some of the first stickers I ever purchased. And then I put down a half box and used champagne stickers and pancake stickers to mark uh, my friend's birthday brunch, and those are all from Plants with Finesse, and they're super cute. I then decided that I did not like where the ampersand was, and this seems really crazy now that I'm like looking back on this, but I cut out a very, very tiny piece of sticker that was the same color as that half box so I could like block out the original ampersand and then I redrew it where I felt like it was better. Honestly, I don't even know if it made a difference, but at the time it did to me. And so, yeah. I then put down a glitter header at the top of Saturday. I was trying to remember to incorporate them in my spread. And then back to Sunday, I used a gold glitter header with a full box underneath. Um, I just kind of binged on YouTube after brunch. So I put down that YouTube girl sticker and that's from Paper and Milk. Um, I do just a little bit of hand lettering by darkening my downstrokes. I've kind of explained this before, but basically um, when I hand letter, I just write in cursive and then bold the downstrokes of my writing. I used a quarter box with a movie night sticker because we watch Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I've seen it a few times, but I really love that movie. Um, so we watched it again. And then at the end of the night, I just did some filming. So I put down a um, camera sticker from Planning in Mint and a film sticker from Samantha May Sticks. I finished my sidebar. And then after looking at my spread, I decided I wanted to switch up Tuesday a little bit because I just felt like there was too much blues and greens again. Um, and I really wanted more pink and so what I did was I switched it out for this um, pink full box instead and then I decided to just get a little more breathing room by moving everything down those stickers I had placed down so long ago and they weren't coming up so I had to pull out my undo I don't use undo very often because for the most part my stickers lift very easily and um, so yeah wait for it to dry and then I was able to like move everything down just a touch so I have a little more white space and then I didn't want to leave that full box empty, so I used a half box that I found in my collection and put down this like sleeping dog sticker from Miscellany Boulevard to mark that we ended up sleeping early on that night. Basically, work has been very stressful and very busy, um, so I haven't really done a lot of exciting things after work or on the weekends and stuff, but you know, just kind of how it goes once the school year comes around. So anyways, that is it for my spread this week. And I'm really sorry. It was only half a plan with me. Hopefully from this point forward, I'll have all full spreads um, going forth just because um, I'm not foreseeing any more memory card issues. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, this is how everything turned out. And I really love this kit for the summer. I'm going to be wrapping up these summer spreads. I think I have one more and then really just kind of jumping in to the fall ones after Labor Day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions about where anything came from please just let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye